Hello. Oh my, that was me getting jumped out of nowhere by a player named X Spark. But not only that, I had gotten spawn killed three more times by his teammates. Because of this, I had lost four of my inventory slots, an important part of the server, leaving me at a massive disadvantage as I was already down by 10 slots. And ever since the start of this server, we had been bullied non-stop by their team, getting killed and pushed around countless times to no, no avail. So to get my slots back and get revenge, I challenged X Spark to a final 1v1 duel in one week. And to make the stakes even higher, this fight is for all the slots. But before I can even think about fighting him, I need to gear up since Spark has a full inventory. And because he could use his excess slots for more items and gear to fight with, I had to optimize my inventory to the best of my ability with the slots I had. And since I had lost pretty much everything when their team ambushed me, I had to start from zero. But luckily, my base already had villagers, farms, and pretty much everything I needed to get a max gear set. But while grinding, we saw that Spark was the only one online from his team. We can kill Spark. Wait, is Spark on, uh, is he, did he jump us? Yes, he killed me. Wait, let's go right now, bro, what? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah, let's actually go here, take this, come on. If we took this chance, we could easily quick drop Spark and take all of his loot and his slot. This might be our only chance to get a jump start on him. Uh, that's helpful. We saw that he was in a nether fortress, but unfortunately, he logged off before we could find him. Spark left, dude, what the heck? Bro, what? He might come back, he might come back. Yeah, he might come back. Just keep going, keep going. Just... You guys keep going. I'll go to the portal, see if Crystal is at their base. Is there another war here? No. Okay, okay they've been here. Do we wait no for Spark here. here? Or do we go back to their base? Completely? I just, I'm at their base right now. I checked. No one's here. Was this really a coincidence or did he somehow know we were coming for him? Nevertheless, we still looked around to see if the nether portal to his base was nearby. Wait, 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 wait. Do we crouch? Do we crouch? Oh, these chunks are just letting in. The weapons are freshly on the ground, and this is on. Nothing. Even though the string duper was on, the base was completely empty. Either the base was already abandoned, or they left before we found it. However, I couldn't just sit around and wait here as I didn't want to risk the rest of Spark's teammates logging on and jumping me again. But while traveling back to my base, I thought of how I would even beat Spark in the duel. We would fight at spawn, no running away, no traps allowed, and only 8 ender pearls, 8 golden apples, and 16 cobwebs during the fight. All of these rules we decided on were secretly in my favor, and you'll see why later. But to secure the dub, I would have to secretly have a backup plan that would guarantee my win. Because if I do lose all of my inventory slots, I would be banned from the server permanently. The first step to having a chance at winning the duel was to practice PvP, as my combat skills are not very good, to say the least. And after spending a couple hours dueling Spark and learning his playstyle, I could already feel myself getting better. There's Let's no go! Way. There's no, there's Let's no way you go. won. That. But there was still a lot more improvement to be done. So I called up Lamy, a good friend of Spark who also happened to be a really good PvPer, and I got him to tell me all of Spark's strategies and how to combat them. I know he like definitely, he definitely like does this, but okay, oh, okay, okay, uh, okay, 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 okay. That does a lot of damage. If I place water at the right like time, I could just combat it. Like Mm. Maybe I'll just hold like a ton of water buckets when I'm fighting him because he might just block He might just take my water or block it off Just like Lamy had explained one of Spark's main strategies was using a lot of cobwebs This is why I made a 16 cobweb cap making it so that he can't use too many Making it easier for me to combo him out one of my strengths Please die. Oh my gosh <laughs> What? Okay. Shoot run there's no way the pro killed me. There's no way. But even Did after all me? that practice, Spark was still better than I thought. No matter how much I trained, there was no way I could win a fair 1v1 against him. And with the day slowly creeping by until the day of the battle, I had to come up with something to give me an advantage, and fast. So this is a secret room I built at spawn, and in this room is a bed where I'll set my respawn point. You might be wondering what the point of this room is. Well, in here, I'll be putting an extra fully maxed out gear set, so if he kills me, I could take the extra gear set, go back in, and ambush him when he least expects it. And while he thinks I'm gonna give him all of my inventory slots, instead, my teammates Slordfighter and Wilson will log on and we could 3v1 him. And because of the 8 pearl cap, I'm gonna make sure he uses up all 8 of his pearls, so when we 3v1 him, he can can't run away. And while I was mining gold for golden apples, anybody want to trade? Hey. Oh wait, what do you have? Give me max sets. I yeah, I need to get slots from trading for my video. 
How about this? Two slots, three kits. Yeah. I could give Moose two of my slots for three fully decked out kits, but I was already crucially low on slots. However, I was confident that I would beat Spark with my plan. But there was another issue. Moose has killed me twice on this server and was also one of the people who jumped me with Spark. So could I really trust him? I needed the kits urgently though, as the fight with Spark was tomorrow. So I had to take Moose's word for it and oh. trust him. <gasps> Alright, nice. I got you. Luckily, Moose went through with his offer and didn't scam or kill me. And now that I have everything prepared, I just have to hope my plan works. Oh wait, did I forget to mention that Spark was already suspicious of me? Spark is telling me that he doesn't trust you to have a fair 1v1 because you're so bad there's no sure you're actually taking that 1v1. That was his teammate Crystal, who wanted to oddly spectate our fight. The tensions were rising quickly, but were too far in to back out. Whatever happens, happens, and all I could do was hope for the best. Alright, are you guys ready? Heck no. Hello? <laughs> Alright. To pull this off, I'm using the in-game voice chat mod to talk to Spark during the fight, and I'm also gonna screenshot us Lord and Wilson on Discord so they know when to log on. The plan was now in motion, and even though I might not be the best at PvP, what I am good at is determination, and I would stop at nothing to get my revenge and take my slots back. Oh, I see Spark, I see Spark. Hello. Okay, uh, let's meet at the no trap meeting area. I brought you here, because your team has stolen four of my inventory slots i've been practicing a lot on legacy so i don't yeah yeah i don't think you're gonna win bro but okay buddy we'll just we'll have to see in three two one go where are you going bro where are you going you're already running oh my god you're doing that thing again okay you're gapping already yeah, okay, oh. this is way too, way too laggy. <laughs> it's lagging? Oh, interesting. Okay, 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 okay. You have thorns? What? <laughs> yes, sir. What kind of person uses thorns? Sparks, please do not die this early. Oh, where are you going? Oh, you're potting. Lord, are they near spawn? Because I'm at the spawn nether point. Oh, okay. Now you're potting. Yeah, log off, log off, log off, log off. I don't even need to pot. It's literally raining. You don't have TNT, so you can't do that strat. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, you're gonna die. You're actually gonna die. You're actually gonna die. It takes like 10 seconds to eat. And what if, what if Spark kills me? There's no way I actually win this. Okay, where, where are you at? Where are you at? I'm on the cabin. I see you. I see you. Oh. Never mind. They do. Okay. Oh, shoot. Dude, I'm at one heart, bro. You could have killed me right there. What? Oh, it's not raining anymore. Thank God. I have D dog, you're gonna die. What are you doing? No! Little did Spark know, this was all a part of my plan, as Lord Fighter and Wilson were ready to log on. Yo, hello? Hello. Bro, there is no way I'm losing nine more bro. of my slots, bro. Nah. Spark. What's up? I'll go for the video. Mocking bro. Huh? Yo! Yo! Yo, what? Hop on, hop on, hop on, hop on, hop on. Bro, Spark, you can't run. Uh, bro. He's Spark! Bro, bro, bro. Where are you, bro? You no, he's, he's over Yo, there, where, stupid. Where, where is... Oh, oh. Spark! Yo, Spark! Yo. It's a 3v1, bro. The whole thing pulled up. <laughs> <laughs> bro, get him, get him, get him. He pearled, he pearled, he pearled. This way, this way, this way. I see his name tag. Oh, I see him. He's literally pearled. No, I don't, he pearled bro. I'm lagging me. like hell. There is no way, bro. Where did he go? I see him. I did I see him. You're capping, bro. Get him, get him, get him. Just get him, just get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, I, I see I see you guys, I see you guys, I see you guys. Dude, where is this guy going? That's off. Oh, that was so good. Let's go, that let's was go, so let's good. Go. Oh, I got like two axe crits on him. He's actually dead. He's actually dead. He's actually dead here. He's dead. Oh my god. Get him, get him, get him. He's actually dead. He's gapping. He's dead. He's dead. Wait, no, he pearled. He, he actually pearled. Again. What? 
Where? 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 Up here, up here. He had gotten away. He called up his teammate Crystalit, and apparently they had an ender pearl stasis chamber set up just in case anything went wrong. But was this really all worth it for me? I haven't actually gained anything from this. Was all of this planning really worth my time and energy? Not only have I ruined my reputation on the server even more, I've betrayed the trust of my own good friend. I promised a fair duel and I didn't pull through, breaking the promise and cheating just to try and kill him in a block game. Nonetheless, he and his team did jump me and spawn kill me multiple times, so maybe it was justified after all. But the thing is, he didn't even want them to spawn kill me. He had only killed me once and didn't expect the rest of his team to take more of my slots. Maybe I was the bad guy after all. Even if I killed him, I wouldn't have redeemed myself on the server. There was truly no point in this duel.